what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? I knew a lot of things about Martin Luther King Jr., but I did not know he tried to commit suicide, not once, but twice. Can you imagine what would have happened had he been successful? Thank God he wasn't. I just finished this op-ed piece for a mental health advocacy group via Complex website. They should be publishing it sometime this month. My main goal was to show people how I deal with stresses in my line of work and how attending to mental health is crucial in living a healthy lifestyle. If you think back to the song Mind Playing Tricks by the Ghetto Boys, which me and Scarface wrote, in the beginning of the song, he says, at night I can't sleep, I toss and turn. Candlesticks in the dark, visions of bodies being burned. We're addressing mental health. My part, I say, I make big money, I drive big cars. Everybody know me, it's like I'm a movie star, but late at night, something ain't right. I feel I'm being tailed by the same sucker's headlights. That's mental health. So that song is one of the few hip hop songs that really addresses mental health. A lot of us don't like talking about this because it is a very serious and dark and touchy subject, but it's very common. And a lot of people would feel this if they heard it delivered in the right way. It's very, very touchy. It's a very personal subject. But it's more common than you can ever imagine. Big time. So, I don't run from it. I don't run from the topic at all. I face it head on, like Martin Luther King and millions of other people. I've been there. So, I know what it's like to feel depressed and hopeless. And I know what it takes to get through it. People have to respect the process in life. Everything in life is a process. And what happens oftentimes is that we don't want to respect the process. We want what we want right then and there. We want results right now. When we're hurting, we want the pain to stop right now. And we don't respect the process. Like, that's why I say it's okay for things to not be okay. It's natural. So when things are not okay, you basically just go through life. You, you just go to work. You participate in whatever hobbies, hobbies you have going on. You wake up. You go to sleep. You wake up. You go to sleep. And sooner or later, that problem that you thought was so big, it's in your rearview mirror. It just starts getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Everything in life is a process. Even just approaching a signal light. When you approach that signal, the light turns red, you got to stop, and you just have to be patient until it turns green, and then you go. When you're going through a crisis, you have to allow yourself to grieve. It's okay. Grieve. But I can guarantee you, go to sleep, wake up, go to sleep, wake up. Next thing you know, you be like, damn, man, I can't believe I was tripping that hard. Think about all of the things, the times that you've had when it was rough and you thought you couldn't get through it. You just would not get through whatever that situation was for you. And you look back now, and you say, damn, I got through that. That's how it is. So respect the process. We need to talk about this more. It's more common. Mental health, depression 
It's way more common than you can ever think. It's people all around you, even people that you look at on television, people that you look up to. They went through it or they may even be going through it. So you're not alone. No more talk. What, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. Order, Texas.